Howdy and welcome to another episode of the Laptop Empire Show. I'm your host, Mike Yonda, co-founder of LaptopEmpires.com, and it's time for some five-minute Facebook ads. Today, I'm gonna hop on my computer. I'm actually gonna show you step-by-step, -step, over the shoulder, how to create a killer traffic campaign that can drive affordable traffic to your blog or website in just minutes, and you can do it for as little as a dollar a day. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, time for a little five minute Facebook ads. And my goal here is to show you how to use these and make it very simple because people think Facebook ads are super complicated, but they're very easy to use once you figure it out. So today I'm going to show you how you can drive traffic to your blog or your website for as little as a dollar a day using Facebook ads. And this is a great source of traffic if you're just getting started, right? So maybe you want to do SEO, you're writing articles for SEO, but it takes time to rank. And as much as we love free organic traffic, you've got to compete against the big dogs and you've got to wait for Google to register your article and get on that first page to start seeing that traffic. But Facebook ads, it's just like a faucet for traffic. You know, you want water, you go to your sink, you turn it on, water comes out. It's the same thing with Facebook ads. You need traffic, you go to Facebook ads, you turn it on as little as a dollar a day, and that traffic starts coming out. You can turn it on, turn it off anytime you want and get it to all of your articles, especially those ones that you have optimized to grow your email list for affiliate offers, those kind of things where you can get a return on what you're spending and recoup those costs. So let's dive into how to create a traffic campaign. The first thing you do, you go to that green button right there. You're going to get to the main window where you choose your campaign objective. This is super important because most people get this wrong. And when they don't get results on Facebook ads, it's because they choose the wrong objective. If you choose the wrong objective, Facebook is going to show your ads to the wrong people and you won't get results. So if you want traffic to your website, you need to choose the traffic campaign. This is opposed to what most people do, which is use the boost post button, which is really an engagement campaign, which only gets you likes, shares, and comments. But if you want people to click and go to your website, you need to choose traffic. Once you choose your, your campaign objective, you get to the ad set level. This is where you're going to make all the setting choices, how much you're spending, who you're targeting, all of that good stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to promote an article that I recently did on kind of a day in the life of being a stay at home dad and online business owner. Like what does it look like? How do I manage it? And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go in the United States. I'm going to select people we'll say 21 to 50, somewhere in there. All right, men and women, because, you know, they're stay-at-home dads too. We want to we want to help all of them. And we're going to just type in stay-at-home parent. Now, what's really cool about this, you see employers, job titles. These are people that have identified like, look, I do this for a living. So we're going to choose that stay-at-home parent job title. So that's like 80,000 people. Now, with my reach, it only says 16,000, but that's okay. We're also going to choose the stay at home parent um, interest because those, if you're interested in being a stay at home parent, if you're looking at articles and those kinds of things and you're, and that's showing up, there's a really good chance that, you know, you are one. Okay. And then we're going to go to suggestions, see what else there is. Stay at home mom, full time. Let's see. There's got to be something good. Let's try stay at home parent again. Employers. Okay. This is a big one. This is a big one. So these are people that have identified that they're stay at home parents. I'm actually going to get rid of the interest. I'm just going to do the job titles because now we know, look at that. That's over half a million people and every single one of them has identified that for a living, they're a stay at home parent. Perfect. They are exactly who we want to reach, men and women. And I love audiences that are over 500,000 because it allows Facebook to optimize even better. So now we're going to go down to placements. We're going to choose to edit our placements. I want to just use mobile because most people are on mobile and I know being a parent, I'm not on my computer a whole, a whole ton, even working from home. I'm mostly on my phone. I'm going to uncheck everything, but the Facebook news feed because that's where I want to reach people. Instagram can work really well too. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the Instagram feed and Instagram stories as well. So now we're only reaching stay at home parents on Facebook and Instagram news feeds on mobile. And then I'm going to set my daily budget to a dollar per day because I only want to spend a dollar per day. And that's going to allow me to reach a couple hundred people and it's going to allow me to get a couple dozen people that are hitting my page. Now, optimization, there's a whole bunch of options, including link clicks, impressions. Impression just means optimize for people to see it. Link clicks, optimize for clicks, but landing page views is optimizing for people to click on the ad, let it load and actually go through and read the article. So that's what we're going to go with. And then we're going to move on to the last part, the ad level. I'm going to go ahead and select my Instagram account, my page, 
I'm going to go ahead, choose image or video, although you have options. We're going to go ahead and choose one. I'm going to use one I already have. Here's a picture of my son hugging on me, hanging off my back. I try not to use my kids in a lot of social media stuff, but it's a great option for, for this just to provide an example. I'm going to go ahead and grab the URL for the blog post that I want to drive traffic to, drop it here, and then I'm going to write the text in the headline. And so I'm going to go ahead and say something like um, how – let me see uh, what what it's like to own an online business dot 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 and then I'm going to do the same thing in the headline as a stay at home dad perfect okay and so real short has the image I'm even going to remove the button so it looks like a native blog post and then we have this text down here so I'm going to go ahead and write some extra text and I'm going to write people love how to so I'm going to write how I make money from home or how I make money online as a stay at home parent boom that fits perfectly, and all I have to do is hit confirm, and it's going to publish the ad. It's going to start sending it to stay-at-home parents, driving traffic to my website, and I think that this one is going to perform incredibly well just because of the demographic and what we're talking about. It is so common for stay-at-home parents. You know, they they it's a full-time job, but it feels really good as a stay-at-home parent to be able to contribute to the household income. And so finding out, hey, how's a stay-at-home parent doing online? It's going to work really well. But also, if you look at this, you know, like one of our campaigns here, you know, just in the last 30 days, we've driven almost 100,000 clicks to the website for seven cents on average. And there's multiple campaigns in here. Some of them are doing three or four cents a click, right? So this can be very powerful if you want to get new traffic to your website. So hope you found this useful and, and enjoyed this, this uh, edition of five minute Facebook ads. If you want to know more about Facebook ads, go into the description, go into the comments and look up my Facebook ads masterclass. If you click it, we're going to give you a full training, one hour, how to use Facebook ads, way more in depth, showing you exactly what to do, how to get results. So just click on that link, go check out the training. See you next time. That's it for this edition of 5-Minute Facebook Ads. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of the Laptop Empire Show. We'll be back next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central Time, just like we are every Tuesday, but you're really going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it out, and that way you get notified. Also, make sure that you look down into the first comment and into the description if you want to learn more about Facebook Ads. We have a uh, Facebook ads masterclass. It's a one hour training. You can dive in there and we really walk you through how to use the ads manager, what the different campaign objectives are and go a little bit deeper so that you can start using Facebook ads to grow your website. See you next time.